This video will review the findings associated with premolars. The first tooth we're going to look at is a mandibular first premolar. The mandibular first premolar resembles a canine in that it has a large buccal cusp and a very short lingual cusp that kind of resembles a cingulum. When you look at an interproximal view, you'll notice that the buccal cusp is taller and the lingual cusp is shorter. You'll also notice that the buccal surface is curved and the lingual surface is either straight or leans to the lingual. Looking at the lingual view of the tooth, you'll see the large buccal cusp and the short lingual cusp. You'll also see the mesial lingual groove, which is what I call the knife mark. To identify the mesial of the tooth, let's take a look at the occlusal view. There are two ways to identify the mesial of this tooth. The first way is to locate the mesial lingual groove or the knife mark on this tooth. Another way to identify the mesial is that the mesial marginal ridge is narrow as compared to that of the distal. If you also take a look at the mesial, you'll notice that the mesial marginal ridge is set at an angle as compared to the lingual surface. So, do you know which tooth number this is? The tooth being shown is tooth number 28. Let's now take a look at the mandibular second premolar. When looking at the occlusal outline of a mandibular second premolar, you're going to notice that the outline is round or square. When looking at an interproximal view, you're going to notice that the buckle is curved, the lingual is straight. You'll also notice that the buckle and the lingual cusp are about the same height. The mandibular second premolar can have a variation in the number of cusps that it has. It can have two cusps or it can have three cusps. If there are two cusps, there is a buckle and a lingual cusp. If there are three cusps, there are a buckle, a mesial lingual, and a distal lingual cusp. To identify the mesial on this tooth, the mesial marginal ridge is taller. On a two cusp variation, you will also notice that the lingual cusp is leaning or closer to the mesial. On a three cusp variation, the mesial lingual cusp is larger than the distal lingual cusp. Another finding that you'll see on mandibular posteriors is that the buccal cusp is much more worn. So do you know which tooth number is being shown? The tooth being shown is tooth number 29. Let's now take a look at the maxillary first premolar. The maxillary first premolar, like all maxillary premolars, is oval in shape. When looking at the occlusal surface of a maxillary premolar, you'll see that the buccal surface is wider than the lingual surface. When you look at the interproximal of a maxillary premolar, you'll notice that the buccal cusp is taller than the lingual cusp. Just remember that the buccal cusp tips tend to show wearing, so this may not be obvious. When we look at the occlusal surface of a maxillary first premolar, the outline is oval, but the oval is not symmetrical. You'll notice that there is a kink or bend on one side. This bend or kink is on the mesial surface of the tooth. So looking at the occlusal view of the maxillary first premolar, do you know which tooth number this is? Hold the tooth by the root with the crown up. Put the lingual towards you and the buccal away. Locate the mesial, and if the mesial is on the right, the tooth is on the upper right. This is tooth number five, the maxillary right first premolar. Let's take a look at a unique finding that's only found on the maxillary first premolar. Looking at the mesial interproximal surface, we'll see the mesial developmental depression. The mesial developmental depression is only found on the maxillary first premolar, and it's located below the contact on the mesial side. This depression is concave in nature. 
The last premolar we'll look at is the maxillary second premolar. The maxillary second premolar is oval in shape but is much more symmetrical than the first. Use the same principles as we did on the maxillary first premolar to identify the buccal versus the lingual. To determine mesial from distal, the mesial marginal ridge will be taller. If you have problems determining which marginal ridge is taller, hold the tooth and look at the interproximal surface. Looking at the marginal ridges, if you're on the distal side of the tooth, you'll be able to see the mesial marginal ridge that's taller over the distal. If you happen to be on the mesial side, you will only see the mesial marginal ridge. Okay, so it's time to ask, do you know which tooth number this is? Since we're holding the tooth by the root with the crown up, we have the lingual towards us and the buccal away from us. Since we know that the mesial is on the right side of this tooth because the marginal ridge is taller, if the mesial is on the right, the tooth is on the upper right. This is tooth number four.